Hello, and welcome to another video with me, the Elite Assassin. This is part nine, and um, with um, episode two, there may have been a skip in one of the videos as um, the camera did cut out and stop filming. So this part we will be starting um, episode three, long road ahead. The last part we did, we finished off episode two, start the help. And now I'm going to start episode three. When it loads. There we go. So Larry is dead. There's shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this Clementine. We need it to survive. Don't worry, little girl. Bandit's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. So let's begin episode 3. Was it each episode Lee gets a new pair of clothes? Oh, they all have. Both of them have at least. Looks like this is our lucky day. tend to take us by surprise. Yeah, well, the less I see, the happier I am. Stick by man, Kenny. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladders come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Yep, 
Yep, there's a ladder. We can't get up that way. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. Better get a move on. Are you sure you can't reach me? Listen, you're either going to have to get a hell of a lot taller, or my arms are going to have to get a hell of a lot longer. I get it. I'll keep looking. There's no safe way through that mess. Come in the car. Kenny, come on. Ah, shit. Damn it. I can't reach. Sorry, pal. All right, stay put. You didn't even try. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Hmm. Could try push the jeep. that we can use. How far can I go in this direction? Okay, not far. So how are you meant to do this? Try the jeep again. Walker's 
don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. She quietly says, Wow, such a great achievement. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear it out here, and then we gotta go. everything we can.
Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Huh. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! He's piling into an RV with you two. After what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We have to go eventually, Lily. We don't have to do anything. You didn't want to go because of your dad's health. But he's gone now. Be easy, Kitty. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. I don't think you're capable anymore. Everything can't come down to the same disagreement. Lily Kinney's got some legit points here. I'm so tired of it being you two versus Damn it. I'm not on anyone's side, Lily. These decisions affect everyone. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. We got all the protection we need. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? They won't be going back over. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. You just let her suffer like what? Like bait? Oh God, what is happening? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth, and it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! Don't you like her. she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Hmm. Are those two together now, Zang? Is it saying the story hasn't told us yet? Let's go talk to Lily, even though she doesn't want to want to talk. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I think you're coming unhinged. You think? I'm not going to play the victim, but you and your buddy might have had a hand in my instability. Can I do anything for you? Haven't you... No. Yes. I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Oh, what do you got? Yes, for real. Can I hmm. shit? I just know. Lily. Careful. 
off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you're using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. Hmm. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's, it's definitely you. not Kenny, I know that, because Kenny wouldn't do that to us. A mystery. Oh, get lost, yes, duck. duck. I'm sorry. I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. Give I don't like him. You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah, good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Let's go talk to Lily. No, Lily. Carly. Talk to Lily yet? She thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment, too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. I think about you, too. Hmm. Where's this guy? Our group is small. You're small. That's nice. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll yeah. let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Hmm. Don't call me small. Hmm. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor in a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now, it doesn't seem like one of them, but everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. Hmm. Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Hmm. Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. I'm going to look into this thing. Good idea. First person we should tell about um, being a killer and everything. I think it should be... Where's Kenny? Kenny. 
Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Now we're going to ask him about the... Wait, what's this? Try and... Fuck Kenny. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's got to be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Um... I need to talk to Kenny. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What do you got? Let's we trust Kenny. It's serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. It wasn't for touching kids, was it? Oh, man, come on. Wow. I, I gotta ask. No. I killed a guy in a fight. Hmm. Must have been a real piece of shit if you had to haul off and kill him. Hmm. So we're straight there. Lee, look at everything this mess has got us doing now. I'm sorry you went through whatever you went through. Yeah, we're straight. I believe there's the right thing to tell Kenny. Oh, this is, this is gonna be really bad. How are you gonna tell Clementine? Let's go do that. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car, and I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need mm. to tell you now, because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can uh, go on back to your things. She understands what we did. Ooh, I got better it. Cut you, whoever her name is. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? Kenny already knows. prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you uh, knew I was a convicted fella. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife... Uh, That's enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. He smashed his head in. Draw a sub lock on it, actually. Gotcha. Everything keeps changing. I don't think it was the right thing to tell her. Who else is there? We've got Ben. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. 
Hmm. The tone of his voice says he did. Start no, we're not, we're not, tr we're not like. telling Ben. We don't know him well enough. So, I'm actually, in fact, going to end this part here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.